I am Brett Matum of brett.matum.net. In this level 100 screencast, I'll be discussing the common language infrastructure. The objective. I will go through and discuss the common language infrastructure, then move on to the common language specification and common type system. I'll describe what metadata is, then the common intermediate language, and then finally we'll look at the different CLI languages supported in .NET. The Common Language Infrastructure The CLI is an open specification developed by Microsoft, Hewlett Packard and Intel and some others. It was initially ratified by the ECMA in 2001 and there is also an ISO standard. Basically, the CLI describes executable code in the .NET framework. It also explains how code runs within the .NET environment. The Common Language Specification In the Common Language Infrastructure, it also describes the Common Language Specification. The CLS is basically a set of base rules that all CLI languages must conform to. The CLS is defined within the common type system. Note that not all languages are CLS compliant. Common type system. In years gone by, different languages define data differently. An integer in one language was different to an integer in another language. In .NET, the common language infrastructure specifies the common type system, which means all data is common across all languages. Thus, an integer in, let's say, C Sharp is the same as an integer in C++ with managed extensions. Likewise, a date time is the same across all CLS compliant languages. Metadata When compiling .NET code into an assembly, the additional metadata about the application is written. This information contains information about the application. This metadata is then used when referencing assemblies between different applications. The benefit of this is different languages can use assemblies written in different languages. This metadata is also used in version management, thus allowing multiple versions of the same assembly to be installed on the same machine and then used without any version conflict. The Common Intermediate Language When applications are compiled in Microsoft.NET, they are compiled or translated into a Common Intermediate Language. The Common Intermediate Language was formerly known as the Microsoft Intermediate Language, or MSOL. All CLS compliant languages compile to the Common Intermediate Language. When an application is actually run, the common language runtime then compiles the common intermediate language, or SOL, into platform-specific assembly or machine code. Let's look at the compiling and running of code. As a developer, you write code in your CLS compliant language and compile that source code. That source code then gets compiled into the common intermediate language which is in a form of an assembly, normally with a .exe extension. When the actual code is run, the common language runtime, in particular the just-in-time compiler, will compile that code into a native code. Note that there are different platform substrates on different machines and operating systems. Once the CLR has compiled that code into native code, that code is then executed and the relevant threads and processes are launched and the program then executes. CLI languages. At the time of doing the screencast, there are approximately 60 common language infrastructure compliant languages. 
these include some of Microsoft's C Sharp, VB.NET, and C++ manager extensions. There's also um, functional programming languages such as F Sharp, and there are also non-Microsoft languages such as Iron Ruby, Iron Python, Iron Lisp, Corba, Delphi.NET, Fortran.NET. These are only a few. In review. The common language infrastructure is an open specification describing how code executes and looks within an environment. The common type system identifies common data between languages. The common language specification is a set of rules that languages need to comply by. Common intermediate language is intermediate code that a language is compiled to. This SIL code is then executed by the common language runtime.